Kopperzaal, Hey YouTube, Coppersan here. Today we're checking in on the most handsome class Phantom to see how it's doing after all the big summer updates and changes. While my Phantom is only level 210, I've been hanging out with the big Phantoms to get their perspective on the class while I tried some of that earlier level content myself. To make things easier, I divided this video into three parts. The good, the bad and the improvements I would love to see for this class. Starting with all things that are amazing about Phantom, Phantom's link skill increases critical rate, which is really good for classes still looking for a critical rate boost. It's also very helpful when you're leveling Link Skill and Legion Mules, and Phantom, being a Master Thief, has a unique Legion effect that increases the amount of Mesos you find from monsters. A must-have for those who have that the grind never ends, gotta farm Mesos mentality, so I definitely recommend making a Phantom today, even if it's just for the Legion and Link Skill. After playing Phantom for a while, I think this class shines the most when it's bossing. When you're bossing, your unique ability to steal Explorer classes, their skills, actually really shines, and it can benefit either yourself or your party. If you're going in solo, steal skills like, like Dark Knight's Cross Search for a 20% final damage increase and a final cut skill from Dual Bladers for another 40% damage increase and an additional invincibility frame. That fat 60% more final damage will help you out a lot. And if you're bossing in a party, Phantoms can also take a more supportive role. Take Heal to help out party members or Noble Demand from Paladins to leave a juicy debuff on the boss monster if there's of course no other Paladin in your party already. Or steal Night Lord's Showdown to remove that touch damage from monsters. The options are pretty much only limited by the amount of slots that you have for stolen skills. Phantoms also have their own 20% defense ignore debuff they can apply and with plenty of mobility thanks to their backwards jump from Penumbra and their shroud walk they can easily get out of harm's way or teleport towards monsters with their 5th job skill Phantoms mark. Plenty of options to move around in and of course if you steal dark side you can just casually take a stroll through all the junk falling from the sky in boss fights. Even though he has one of the most potent burst skills luck of the draw, using your final damage buffs you can make up for a little bit of that lack of damage. Plus if you steal the invincibility hyper skill from best boy Paladin in, you can freely hit a boss for 30 seconds while that skill is active. Add the hero common 5th job skill Freud's Wisdom to add another 30 seconds invincibility on top of that. Got hit by a fatal attack? No problem. Phantoms have a passive revive that also makes them invincible for 4 seconds. Final cut if you've stolen that one has a 3 second invincibility frame as well. And the 5th job skill Phantoms Mark makes you invincible for 2 seconds after using it. And if luck of the draw is active you also take 15% less damage. It's hard for a boss to kill a phantom, it's not impossible though. So lots of safety and utility and flexibility when it comes to bosses. Phantom can stick to bosses a lot longer than most other classes. You can even steal bosses their debuffs if you want to. But that's about all the positives that I had written down from this class after playing it again for a while and just talking about it, discussing it with other Phantom mains. So next are some of the negatives. Phantom's greatest asset is also a bit of his downfall it seems, and that is his whole skill stealing mechanic. If you're just starting with the class, it can be frustrating to find the right classes to even steal skills from. For some reason, everyone is either Buccaneer, Hero or Night Lord after Destiny. When it comes to grinding, there also isn't that much for Phantom to go with sadly. There's this illusion of having all these skills to choose from, but in reality there's only a few of them that are considered the best skills. For example, the third job skill Arrow Blaster is pretty good to grab, and either Chain Lightning or the Cannoneer May Mobbing Attack is pretty nice to grind with. I know some higher level phantoms also go for Heaven's Hammer from Paladin or even the first and second job skills from Pathfinder work out in some maps. However, there also are a ton of skills that you will just never touch. And since phantom cannot steal passives, that also means that some of the stolen skills like Arrow Blaster will never get the passive damage boost like Bowmasters get when they put a point in their hyper skill. Now, it's not like grinding on phantom is horrible and impossible, but there definitely is a lot of room for improvement over there. And it requires more funding before it starts feeling really okay. Phantoms also seem to have a bit of an outdated kit at times. They like this buff that has turned into a passive, however you can still use it, but it will not only flash your dead lover as a form of self-emotional damage, or a beginner skill that gives you 40 dex. Your main stat is luck by the way. And an overall feeling of just not being very powerful until you really start funding your character more. And even when bossing it also doesn't help that Phantom's base, ignore defense and boss damage aren't exactly very high. There's no passive additional boss damage to begin with, hence needing a bit more funding before you really start popping off. And Shroud Walk being ping reliant might also be a turn off for some of the higher ping maples out there. I also want to mention that all these negatives might sound a little bit bleak, but Phantom is still an amazing class in the right hands. And with proper funding they can go solo the Black Mage just like everyone else. Pretty fast actually. One thing that I did notice though when I was bossing is Phantom is one of those classes with a lot of skills and movement in their kit, which definitely takes some getting used to. It wasn't overwhelming, but I also noticed I'm very underpracticed. <laughs> So, what can Nexon do to make Phantom a bit better? By the way I see it, there are two directions this class can go, and I would love to see either 
The first one is that the developers fully removed the skill stealing mechanic and embraced the card throwing running with scissors aspect of Phantom. Balancing all those stolen skills is a nightmare and not being able to steal half of the skills anyway doesn't really help. Instead, Phantom should get more buffs and passive from his own skills and his mobbing needs to be improved. As well as a lot of other minor improvements like the way Rift Break works because I just feel that half of the time. And your running with Scissor's Hurricane skill is one of the slowest Hurricane skills in the game. So improving the attack speed on that skill would also help a bit as well. Another option that I see is instead of removing the skill stealing, fully embracing it, but improve it to the max so phantoms aren't wasting hours looking for the right class. All skills should be available from an NPC, like for example from Phantom's ship. There still is a loadout that you have to use so you cannot take an endless amount of skills with you, and switching between those skills should be improved as well, like with the press of a button, like how Xenon switches through his different modes. I also think that not all skills need to deal reduced damage or have longer cooldowns to make up for the many passives that Phantom cannot steal, or maybe give Phantom Shadow Partner for his own skills as well so you can choose to grind with either your own skills or the stolen ones. I would love to hear everyone else their ideas on the class and how it can be improved as well. Phantoms are going to get some love though with the upcoming Ignition update. Their Tempest skill will have the duration cut in half but the damage doubled so you can deal your damage a bit faster. A feature will be added to lock off the draw so you cannot get stunned anymore while using the skill. Hook Bomber and Turning Kick from Buccaneer can now be stolen. And if Showdown is used, Shurikens will pop out as well now just like the original. And finally, Carte Noir will deal 50% more additional damage to normal monsters. Nothing massive but they are some nice changes. So Phantoms require a lot of dedication to build up. Their kit is perfect for bossing, but not the best for grinding. Still it's a class everyone has to level up at one point because of their amazing link and unique legion effect. But what do you think about the Phantom yourself? Let me know in the comments. And that was all I had to report for today on the Phantom. Thank you all so much for watching and as always, many thanks to our members for making these videos possible. Thanks to Niels de Comic, Raar Maar Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, Riley Oss, Terry Kim, Varese, Kaudi Mora, Wiley, History Cannon, Backspace, OTI, Safronix, Ziggy Deer, Flidiet, Knifesu, Cloudfix, Gusus Rodriguez, Digby, Vyra, Trevor, Michael Manchaka, Ratius, Justin Vale, Silvio Nato, Afterlord and the Score MS, Striker Elk, Tide One Pun, Radical Jaws, Riser Are You, Sir Tito 655, Matthias Simonson, PC Game Life, The Passenger, Martin Panzik, Conra Cristales, Ace Light, Mr. Anark, Ben Wolf, Max Bernhardt, Muka 1017, BMB King, Scotty Flies Fast, Priscilla, Brandon Cam, Vega Botnet, Feco, Victor Sundstrom, Simak, Only, Rashid Alharmudi, Gerlando Belavia, Gianfranco, Calderon Canavero, Lucky Beats, Matthew Def, Gummy Bullet, Lord Fazil, Spuds D. Kaiser, and Zunnen. Thanks again for watching, stay safe and happy mapling.